this is all the county's residential trash and recycling comes here to this facility. Uh, but according to the EPA, during the holiday season, there's 25% more waste that comes here. And that's just wrappings. It's the boxes of things come in, the plastic the things are wrapped in, and the paper and boxes that we put around the things that we're giving to people. So this is all extra trash that gets generated during the holiday season. Um, so this is part of our gift outside the box campaign. And one way we can take part in this is to be more careful with how we pack things during the holiday season and how we give our gifts. And this, like I said, six year of the campaign and the campaign encourages everybody to think greener about what they do when it comes to dealing with the waste that you're going to be generating in your gift giving. Uh, this is just one of the many ways the county works to bring attention to climate change. We're working to meet the county's goals to cut greenhouse gas emissions by 80% by 2027 and 100% by 2035. This requires tackling big things like requiring cleaner energy standards for the county's large buildings and being leaders in the nation like we are at the Brookfield Depot in Silver Spring where we have the largest bus solar charging facility in the country. Um, when we shop locally and purchase gifts made here in our county, we're investing in our communities and improving the local economy. And this is true holiday season or not. The more we buy local, the more we support local businesses here. And I want to encourage everyone to think about supporting our local businesses um, during the gift giving season. Uh, there are a lot of great shops in Montgomery County and often have some of the most interesting stuff because it's not the chain things that you see in every single other store. So if you've got a chance in your shopping, take a look at what local shops have to offer. And together we can all reduce waste and save energy and build a strong local economy. Everything we do each day, no matter how small, adds up and makes a difference. And so what you can do is minimize our environmental impact, save natural resources, support green local businesses, and deepen our connections with our family and friends and give back to our community. And all this behind you is mostly plastic bottles. What type of plastic is, what grade plastic is this? Willie, which grade is this? These are, these are number ones, and it's lots and lots of bottles, as you can probably see in here. And, uh, you know, hopefully someday we'll get to the point when the industry helps us go through and pay for the recycling process. We're looking at ways of doing this. All of this right now will go off and be sold to, pe to companies that will take the plastic, they'll shred it, they'll clean it, they'll put it into pellets, and they'll reuse it and recycle it in products that carry a recycled label. This is what we do instead of dumping this in a landfill. So this is our part of trying to make sure that we leave a cleaner environment and that you're putting your trash away and letting, and letting it go into the separate bins like we have it makes it much easier for us to collect this plastic and get it reused. So please help us do that throughout the holiday season. Think about the paper you use to wrap your gifts and think about the boxes you're using. All of that will wind up somewhere here and find its way to a market. But the less we have here, frankly, the better, because that means you're doing a better job of not using materials that are just going to get disposed of.